And Ben Simmons pulled up yesterday in front of the defender in his face, shot a three-pointer, and rained it down as Ben Simmons hit his first three-pointer yesterday. Everything went insane. Everybody was going crazy. Everybody was just overhyping it and saying, Ben Simmons can finally hit threes. I mean, I got to say, his jump shot looked really good in my opinion. And he, he was even wet like water. It was a swish, nothing but net. That is awesome. If the 76ers could see Ben Simmons hit a little more of those, maybe even consistently this year, how good would the 76ers actually be? Let's find out. What's going on, guys? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So what I did is I took Ben Simmons here in my league, and I supercharged this guy, and now he can shoot. He's got an A-plus three-pointer, A-plus mid, and A-plus inside. So Ben Simmons can shoot the three ball. So I supercharged him. And what 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 could that do for the 76ers? I could only expect good things from uh, to happen if Simmons can consistently hit a three. This might just be an overreaction of like what happened yesterday, but man, this team is gonna look a little bit different if Ben Simmons can actually pull up and just hit threes in the face of defenders like that, or just whenever he's open and just hit them. I mean, that's gonna be a huge game changer. For the 76ers so yes this is going to be kind of a 76ers rebuild but really to be honest today it's not going to be much of a 76 rebuild i'm going to focus more on just the fact that ben simmons can shoot a three i have no idea how i'm going to do that yet but i think i will get some gameplay in i'm going to try to play with ben simmons and then i think this should be a fun little video just to do for today so uh if we could go up uh let's see what else could we go to balance i guess i don't really want to play pace and space we're gonna go to pace and space because we have some players that can hit some threes. And now that Ben Simmons is going to improve the spacing, hopefully. It was just one three-pointer. Let's get that Let's get that going. I don't know if he hit more than one last night. But I know he hit that one for a fact. Saw it all over my Twitter. So if Ben Simmons could actually do that consistently this year, that's going to be a game changer. I know I've already said that. But I got to put a huge emphasis on that. So I'm going to simulate this first season with Ben Simmons being able to shoot threes. I'm going to hope he shoots them. I might mess with this tendencies and maybe make him like want to shoot him all the time. But other than that, guys, I'm gonna simulate this first season, and we're just gonna see uh, how many threes Ben Simmons can hit this first season. Right, ladies and gentlemen, supercharging Ben Simmons resulted in him winning MVP, 45% from the three. Obviously, I gave him the maximum three-point stats he could get. So yeah, that was bound to happen. It's not like I should go insane right now and be like, oh my god, Ben Simmons is about to hit. 200 threes or whatever but 37 points from ben simmons definitely you know did great you know i kind of boosted his tendencies and all that all nba first team all nba second and all nba third this was really just wanted to kind of uh wanted to do an overreaction video to ben simmons hitting his first three pointer and i think we've done a good soft good we've done a good job so far so 37 points uh joel Embiid had 22 himself i'm very curious on how many uh threes he hit. he attempted three a game and attempted or uh he made three a game and attempted 12 a game which is awesome 45 percent from three uh total he missed he must have shot a lot then so let's see if he did which was the goal he shot 300 or 975 times obviously that's probably not gonna happen uh this season but i just thought it would be uh funny if uh I just boosted his stats all the way and man he shot a lot no kidding so definitely had the ball in his hands a lot shot the most and he scored 37 points so let's go ahead and see if we can beat the miami heat in the first round we're up 1-0 to start uh 2-0 can we go up 3-0 can we do we sweep can we sweep them and 3-1 uh 4-1 okay we beat the miami heat in five games and now we're on to the milwaukee bucks uh we're up 1-0 on them as well 2-0 3-0 and can we sweep milwaukee we uh just did okay and now we have orlando and detroit we got philly and orlando we're up 2-0 on them 3-0 and we sweep them as well so ben simmons having a three-point shot is working wonders so far 1-0 2-0 3-0 uh and you know what we're gonna go to simcast and i think i'm gonna go ahead and get some gameplay in so we're gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna go uh, we're gonna simulate to the end of the game it looks like we might lose this okay it is a close game so far 123 to 118 i'm gonna go ahead and close this out we're gonna get some gameplay in and then i'll probably do just like one more season despite what happens or maybe not we'll see how it goes but uh definitely the ben simmons three-point shot could work wonders for the 76ers this season ladies and gentlemen we are in the game uh ben simmons is out here i cannot wait to attempt the three with him oh my gosh nice steal okay where is ben simmons all right let's get him uh let's see if i can just pull up right now okay stupid 
Okay, that was just kind of a dumb shot. I was just really wanting to get him uh, get a three-point shot with Ben Simmons. So I'm going to go ahead and call for a screen, and I'm going to shoot it off the screen. Let's see if I can get around James Harden real quick. Okay, wide open. Let's go. Green release. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I, I'm not expecting stuff like that from Ben Simmons this season, but you never know. He may surprise us. I'm not sure what to expect from this guy, but... Uh, definitely wasn't expecting what I saw on Twitter yesterday that that man pulled up from deep and just Splashed it in the face, but Ben Simmons got the rebound. Let's go ahead and take it up Let's see if I can just pull up real quick and uh, do this do the dirty uh, Okay, I'm getting double teamed, so I can't even do that. All right, we're gonna pass it out to Joel Embiid Let's see if I can give it to Ben Simmons and hopefully I don't get a you know draw a double team again We go ahead and try to get another screen going and that should be wide open, hopefully. No, good defense. All right, so Russell Westbrook was able to defend me good. 126 to 118. I can happily say, though, we uh, we shot it. We we made a three with Ben Simmons. Like, that's that was the main goal, and we did it. So I'm excited about that, at least. So Russell Westbrook uh, is trying to, okay, just pulls up on me. Misses that one. Can we get the rebound? We do. We'll go ahead and give it to Ben Simmons again. To try to pull up here actually you know what they give me a wide open lane i'm just gonna go ahead and take it in 128 to 118 that's gonna secure a championship so if you want to you know suit you know supercharge ben simmons give him the most amount of three point shot you can 128 to 118 it will go well for you the 76ers will literally sweep the playoffs i think that's what i did i'm not sure i, I felt like we did we like completely just swept the playoffs and we've won the championship with the 76ers. That is awesome. Like, that is very awesome. So, I think I'm going to go for uh, one more season. Just because I don't want to end the video so shortly. So, I think I'm going to do one more season. Uh, we're going to sign, you know, sign a decent bench in the offseason. I'm going to try to keep the starting five together, obviously. And then uh, we'll go from there. So, yeah. Nice championship, but I'm hungry for more. You know, we are in the offseason. I'm going to go ahead and hire a good trainer. I don't think I'm going to be firing... Uh, Brett Brown, I just don't really want to do that. I almost forgot the 76ers head coach's name, to be honest with you. So I had to go look real quick. But we're going to go to the draft. I don't think we have a first rounder. I might be wrong about that. Uh, yeah, we have a bunch of seconds. Um, you know, I you know could see myself maybe wanting to trade into the first round. See if I can like maybe land the 15th pick or something. Let's see, maybe go with 10 for all this. No, okay. How about we can move up to maybe 20? No, okay, not 20. Um, Let's go for... Let's see 28 maybe move up a bunch of like you no know, a decent amount of spots uh we're gonna have a first round pick which is no not bad 28th pick overall let's see what we might be able to get here um nobody that great is left actually trey jones i think i'm gonna be taking trey jones out of duke that's probably the best player that was available left so welcome to the team trey jones rookie signing or player options we got freaking cork maz and then we got zara smith and james ennis coming back to the team while flying offers we have none and then i don't think we have any important free agents i might be wrong about that but josh Richardson, yeah so we really don't have that many important free agents which is a very good thing to be honest so let's just see what our team so we got uh, ben simmons obviously matisse thibel is going to be the backup shooting guard Perkin cork maz isn't a bad backup power forward mike scott's good pack backup power forward and then freaking cork maz i meant is not a bad backup small forward but Probably need a backup point guard, so that's what I'm going to look for this offseason. Darren Collison did retire, but you know what? He actually would be a decent fit here. Rondo, Augustine, like any of these guys would be all right. I think I'm going to go ahead and give Austin Rivers a two-year deal. And as far as the backup center is concerned, uh, somebody like, uh, what if we want, Myers Leonard for two years wouldn't be bad. So I'm going to go ahead and sign Austin Rivers and Myers Leonard, I think, as long as uh, 2K will allow it. Restart to install Windows 10 update. Sorry, I got distracted by my... Computer screen. We cannot sign Myers Leonard, which is not a big deal. We'll just go for a different center out here. Can we sign Iguodala? No, we can't. Okay, for a different center, let's see what's out there. Ekebe Udo. Joe Kim Noah. Let's bring in Joe Kim Noah. And just like that, you know, we've kind of retooled the bench a little bit. So it's not going to be like anything special, of course. Obviously, you know, this 76ers team already is kind of looking good on paper. As long as uh, everything goes well for them, the spacing might be a little horrible. But as we saw, if Ben Simmons, I'm going to keep saying it. If he can shoot threes like that all the time, the 76ers are going to be in business. So business will be booming, like Antonio Brown used to say. Uh, of course, now he's not really saying that because he's not really in the league anymore. But 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the end of this uh, second season. If anything, maybe I get some gameplay in again. Maybe not. I think I might just leave it just in case. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but uh, probably won't do another season uh, if the team makes the playoffs again and, of course, wins another championship. But I'm going to simulate to the end of the second season, and we're going to see how it goes. 62-20 and 20 once again. So, yeah, I mean... Things have been going well so far, so this really didn't have to be much of a rebuild at all. We had 31 points from Ben Simmons, you know, kind of a little bit down from what it was last year. He attempted three or 10 threes a game and had four, made four a game, so shot 44% from three. So, you know, if Ben Simmons could ever get to that point, which I'm sure he could, it's just going to, you know, be a one-step process to see how it goes. Obviously, the 76ers are going to be in good shape. I think Ben Simmons could definitely develop that. And then just like it took LeBron a little bit, it's going to, you know, only help the 76ers once Ben Simmons fully develops a three-point slash just jump shot in general. It's going to help them out a lot. So I like the idea that Ben Simmons was able to, you know, confident enough to pull up and shoot that last night. Very awesome moment. So very happy for the 76ers organization. I think they're going to be a huge threat in the East this year, no matter what happens. Even if Ben Simmons didn't develop a three shot, uh, I think they would have still been a threat, but it's only going to help them. So as we beat the Hornets in four games, and then now we're going to be facing the Milwaukee Bucks. Claws out game, we had 25-3 uh, from Tobias Harris, 20-11-7. And, and then Ben Simmons made three uh, uh, threes in that game. So awesome. Now similarly current round against the Bucks. As we're up 1-0 against them. 2-0, 3-0, and looks like we can beat them in four as well. Now we're facing the Brooklyn Nets. This one should be a little bit different, a little bit more interesting. We didn't have to face the Nets last year, and they're definitely a good team in their own respect. So... Hopefully, we're able to beat them as well. Closeout game for uh, this last one. We had 40, 13, and 12 from Ben Simmons shooting six threes that game. Uh, or made th six threes that game. And uh, very good. 60% from the three three line. Five turnovers, but definitely had a triple-double. Very nice. And now we're going to be facing the Brooklyn Nets. So let's see if we can beat them as well. As they're up 1-0, we even it up with them. 2-1, 2-2. Okay, 3-2. Can we win in six? We do. Now we're facing the Utah Jazz. If we look at the Jazz, see how they're looking nowadays. Um, Conley, Donovan Mitchell, Gobert, Bogdan Badana, or Bojan Badanovic, I should say, Jabari Parker. I'm very excited to watch the Jazz this season as well. Despite them being in the Western Conference, and obviously I'm a Blazers fan, as you can tell by the flag behind me, I still think the Jazz are going to be very, very good. But let's go ahead and simulate like current round against the Utah Jazz. Uh, they're up 1-0. Uh, we even it up. 2-1, 2-2, 3-2 -2 for us. Going to a game seven, okay. So if I do have to jump in, I'm more than okay with doing that just to get some more gameplay for you guys. But we're going to go ahead and see how it goes. Um, we do jump. Okay. Wow. Okay, I definitely just messed that up. 112-103. I was not expecting to go that fast. But oh well, that's fine. We already won a championship in this video. Obviously, I wasn't going to come back in 22 seconds. That would have been kind of impossible. But the Jazz won the championship in seven games. Uh, that's gonna end it for me guys. I'm gonna go ahead and end it there This was just a fun little video. Just you know, just kind of wanted to have some fun today So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of Ben Simmons hitting his first three uh, What you're expecting this season and basketball is almost here guys. So you now buckle in things should be getting good here soon It's crushables. And I'm saying peace